so the experiment is pulse width modulation so in pulse width modulation we are going to use a triple phi timer to generate a pulse basically the width of the pulse is going to be changed based on the amplitude of the message signal or the modulating signal so the modulating signal is uh, fed from a function generator whose frequency is set as 1 kilohertz and uh, a 5 volts peak to peak uh, we know the general operation of a triple phi timer <laughs> it is going to uh, be operated in a stable mode to generate a square wave so let us see the breadboard connection uh, for the uh, pulse with uh, modulated signal so here we are using a triple phi timer circuit the first pin of the timer circuit is grounded directly connected to the ground from the second pin we are connecting 0.01 microfarad to the ground and from the third pin the output is taken from the third pin from fourth pin we are connecting to the eighth pin through this uh, jumper wire so fourth pin and eighth pin are shorted and uh, from the fifth pin we are connecting a 10 microfarad uh, electrolytic capacitor the positive terminal the longer lead is the positive terminal which is connected to the fifth pin the negative terminal we are connecting the message signal or the modulating signal from the positive probe and coming to the fourth pin fourth and eighth fourth and eighth are shorted and the sixth and seventh between sixth and the seventh pin we are connecting a 1 kilo ohms resistance and between seventh and eighth pin we are connecting again another 1 kilo ohms resistance so this is the breadboard connection so coming to the signal generator setup so we are uh, using a uh, function generator to generate the message signal so the message signal is a sine wave the amplitude is set around 5 volt peak to peak and the frequency is uh, 1 kilohertz frequency is set as 1 kilohertz now we are feeding the message signal into the breadboard and now currently i am disabling the message signal let us observe the carrier signal because the triple phi timer is generating a carrier signal so see here the carrier signal is generated by the triple phi timer without applying the message signal so if we measure the carrier signal the frequency of the carrier signal observed is uh, nearly 10 kilohertz and the amplitude is around 13.1 volt now let us observe the pulse width modulated signal by feeding the message signal now i am enabling the message signal on off button now let us observe the modulated signal waveform so in one channel I am connecting the message signal and in the other channel I am connecting the modulated output, pulse width modulated output. So we can observe here based on the input message signal amplitude variation we are going to observe the variation in the width of the pulse for the modulated signal. So here we can observe for one cycle of the message signal let us uh, calculate the on and off time period for the pulse width modulated output.